What's going on fam? Uh, I wanna make a video explaining why it's so, so important to track your foods and be specific if it's raw versus cooked. So as I always say, if you weigh it raw, track it raw, and if you weigh it cook, cooked, track it cooked. There's some exceptions to this and some rules we'll talk about in a different video, but for this one, let's just assume that is the case. Okay, so I always tell the story of how um, when I was in college, I first started macro tracking, I would track everything as just chicken breasts without specifying, but little did I know that, that those values I found online or in my app at the time was for raw, but I would track everything, um, but I would weigh everything as cooked. So what I thought was the cooked macros, it wasn't, it was the raw macros. And because the cooked macros, because chicken cooked per gram has so much more protein and calories because it dries out when it's cooked, I was eating a significant amount of calories more than I thought, upwards of like four to 500, because I would eat a lot of chicken. And that's why I wasn't losing any weight for a while. Once I figured that out, the problem resolved itself. So check this out. 100 grams of chicken breast raw no skin, you can see right here under number one, has 218 calories, 42 grams of protein for again, 200 grams of chicken breast raw no skin. If we take the same chicken breast, same 200 grams of chicken breast, um, and actually it's not exactly the same because it'll lose some weight cooking, but let's say that we took 200 gram now of cooked chicken breast um, raw no skin, it has significantly amount of calories, almost 100 calories more and almost uh, in about 17, 16 grams of protein more, maybe 15, whatever that mental math is. Um, so a significant amount more. So they are not the same. Uh, another example, pasta. This one's huge. Pasta, spaghetti, all that kind of stuff is the same here. I use, I use pasta for basically all the same, just um, depending on what noodle is. I don't really care. I just say pasta. Um, but look, at, check this out. 100 grams of dry pasta or spaghetti, uh, just fresh from the box, is 75 carbs, 366 calories. Cooked, because it adds so much water when it's boiled, it goes down to 130 calories and 25 carbs, uh, 50 carbs less. So if you're just putting, if so let's say you weigh out 100 grams of cooked pasta, and you, but in your phone, you put 100 grams pasta, and it's actually the raw values, your phone's gonna be telling you, your app's gonna be telling you you're eating 50 more carbs than you actually are. Um, and that's not correct. So you can see how it can hurt you on both ends. If you're trying to gain weight and you think you're eating in a 300 calorie surplus, but you're actually not, then that's how that can happen. Same thing with rice. Look at this, 100 grams raw rice, um, 79 carbs, almost 80, and then cooked is 27, almost a third of that. So we can keep going down here. Uh, this is a chuck roast, chuck steak, 100 grams of um, raw is 130 calories, 21 grams of protein, and cooked is again, significantly more calories and significantly more protein because of the water content. Um, now, meat um, is definitely something to, to consider. Veggies are too, and unfortunately veggies actually lose a little more water or gain a little more water when they're cooked. So you do want to specify veggies too, but it really matters more for eating a large amount. A lot of people don't go and scarf down 500 grams of vegetables in one serving, unless you're me. So, um, you know, again, you always want to be more accurate. And what I always say is you can always find the nutrition value online just type in onion, uh, cooked onion nutrition USDA. It's going to give you really accurate information by the USDA and you're going to find it right away. Um, but in any case, check this out. 300 grams of raw onion is 27 carbs, 129 calories. 300 grams of cooked onion is almost twice as much carbs and almost a little less than twice as much calories. So it will make a difference for sure. Um, so, you know, when you can specify, um, another option for veggies is you just try to do it raw. So before you cook your stir fry, just measure your ingredients raw. Now, if you're like at a friend's house and they have cooked, um, then a couple things you can do, you can you can track it down as raw and then later on find the cooked macros and then, you know, and then like end to the cooked macros afterwards. You're not like trying to do it during dinner or whatever it is, but there's always a solution. It's just, it's just usually not a good idea to go, well, I had 100 grams raw chicken. I'm just going to put 100 grams cooked chicken and call it good because it's, it's not accurate. It's not a good way to do it. Um, and a lot of times the food labels will only give you raw macros. So if you just say a hundred grams, well, I, I think one of the most frustrating thing I see as a coach is when people just track things like, um, you know, three ounces of chicken. Well, was it cooked? Was it raw? Did it have skin on it? Uh, was it a chicken leg? Like this really is important or also give you inaccurate calories. Now, one more example, um, potato, uh, it's going to, it's again, it's going to depend on if you, 
boiled it, if you baked it, or if it's raw. So I, those are the three most common ones I have. Um, for flaked potatoes, it's gonna be a little different. Uh, obviously for that, in that case, I would just, you know, measure like 100 grams of flaked potatoes as it is, and then just add water as I see fit. Um, but so check this out, potato raw, 100 grams is 17 carbs, but if I bake it, it's gonna lose a lot of water. And because of that, it's gonna turn to 23 carbs. Um, if I boil it, it's going to gain some water. And now it's not a huge difference, but it's still less carbs and calories um, compared to baked and raw because it adds water. So, um, and then I said last one, here's the last one. Some things are weird, like popcorn. Popcorn actually doesn't differ all that much at all. So it's 184 calories for 50 grams of um, unpopped popcorn and then 198. So it's really, uh, yeah, so it's 10, 10 calorie difference, 184. I think, I think it's 154, maybe I didn't. Um, 10 calorie difference, so it's not that big a deal, but still it's probably gonna be specific. So that is why it's super important to specify on your phone and when you're weighing uh, if foods are raw or cooked. So again, if you are weighing a food raw, track it as raw macros. If you're weighing a food cooked, track it as cooked macros.